Hello, everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about an extremely new, fresh out today, in fact, app from Clave Grand called Spin. And Spin is a kind of Leslie Rotor effect. I mean, they said it's not exactly like a, it's not exactly an emulation, but it's inspired by that. Mm, I don't really want to talk much about that first, but just to say very briefly, what, what is a Leslie Rotor? Well, when the Hammond organ came out, uh, there was a guy called Don Leslie who thought, okay, the Hammond organ sounds great, but it's not really 3D enough. The sound is not reverberating enough. He developed a cabinet that had different rotors in it that basically moved um, the, the treble sounds and the bass sounds in different ways. And this created all kinds of cool effects, um, basically tremolo, vibrato, phasing, things like that. But it also had a tube amp inside, and so that added a kind of grit and distortion. So if you think about the 60s, and think about these lovely kind of distorted organ effects, uh, this was a real classic time when the Leslie was really popular. So that's what this is doing. Now let's just hear uh, what it can sound like. So I'm going to start here with not exactly, this is an organ kind of sound. It's not exactly totally traditional, but I think it sounds quite nice in Synthmaster Player. And so first, just get the dry sound. Okay, now turn the spin on. So you can see a lot of, uh, there's distortion, there's tremolo, all kinds of things going on there. Okay, and we're just going to go through a few of the presets. Let's just hear with a little bit of a more traditional organ sound. I won't go through all of them again, I want to make this short.
so get the idea. Okay, let's look at the main screen. Put it up like this, less distraction. Okay, so at the top we see these spinning things. These are the rotors, right? The way the cabinet works in the traditional Leslie is there are um, rotors. There are basically horns, right? That get moved around in different ways. So there's a pair of treble horns at the top and these horns point in different directions and this moves around then there's a bass horn that the bass tweeter basically that points down um, into a rotating drum this drum spins around so basically you have different sounds moving around at different speeds and in different directions right so this creates um, a lot of cool stuff. You get amplitude. Amplitude is changes in volume. You get vibrato, which is changes in pitch frequency. And you get phasing uh, due to all these different sounds moving around the room and getting reflected. And then, as I mentioned earlier, you get the tube amp sound, which, when pushed, could add this grit and distortion. Okay, so at the top we have the rotors. You can see they're moving different speeds, uh, like the second one's going slower than the first. This is something that we can set on this page and I'll come over to that later. Now you can also see between the rotors there are some little knobs and these basically are affecting the crossover frequencies. Now, let me find very quickly, right here. Um, the, so Clave Grand have a, have a manual on their website. Uh, the crossover frequencies are the points at, they're basically filters. Uh, so let's say this first one, crossover one, um, 80 hertz. If, if this is set at 80 hertz, then sounds over 80 hertz will be reduced, right? So it's basically a filter. So that's, that's what we see here. So you see here we have 80 hertz, 140 hertz, and 220 hertz. So if we look at the first one, for example, it's in the third position. And so that is going to allow more uh, high frequencies in than if we, if we tap it and put it on the first position. Then we're going to have fewer high frequencies. That's what that is. Okay, now mode. Uh, this is the button on the left. As you can see at the moment, it's set to slow. Let's have a listen to that. Now I'm going to turn it down. I'm going to turn it off. Let me change. I know I do want this screen, yes. I know. One thing you can see here is that when we change it from fast to slow or from slow to off or whatever, it doesn't change immediately. It takes time to change. And this was one of the attributes of the original Leslie cabinet that became kind of part of the sound signature. And this is something that we can also adjust here. So we'll look at that after. Room. Okay, that's just reverb. Big room sound, smaller room. Okay, then we have these. Uh, this is basically a cleaner sound. And this is more distorted. Then we have the amp part. So we can add drive, add distortion. And we have a little EQ there for bass, mid and treble. Master, okay, input level. The amount of stereo and output, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, just down below the stereo button, you can see there's a small thing. Uh, let's look what that does. So you see that just turns the animations on and off. 
to reduce CPU. It has a pretty minimal uh, impact anyway, so I wouldn't worry about leaving it on. Okay, second page, the rotors. So, um, size, okay, look at the left, the first rotary knob. Uh, this changes the size of this horn. Right, so we have four horns here. This will change the size of the first one. This will be smaller. This is bigger. Uh, here, ACK, this is the acceleration time. Now, okay, see just now when I tried to show you on that other page, the, the acceleration and deceleration was not very noticeable because, look, it's very low. That means that the acceleration and deceleration time is going to be very quick. So let me just put all of those up. And I'm also going to put the deceleration ones up. Okay, and now let's go back to this screen. And now look at the moment it's on fast. Actually, I think I might have been wrong about that. <laughs> Maybe this one is the slower one. Let's see. No, no. Yeah, you see, that's faster, right? That's a faster transition than it was before. Okay. What else do we have here? Right, velocity, VEL. Um, I'll look on the left, changing that now. So this uh, is a velocity sensitivity button, a knob, rather. Um, when this is down here, you see it has a negative value, minus 100. Okay, here it's zero, and here it is 100. Um, when the value is negative, when we play the keyboard, and when we play uh, with more velocity, then the rotary will slow down. Mm. Yeah, I, th I think you can see the first one slowing down a little bit. I mean, it's quite a subtle effect, at least in this patch. Mm. And maybe I'll put them all down. Let's see. Okay, this is lower velocity. higher velocity. Okay, what else do we have here? Um, so slow and fast, right, what are these? So slow, this controls the speed when it's in slow mode. So let's look, at the moment it's in fast mode, let me change it to slow. Go back here. And right, you see, now it's basically it's not moving at all. And here it's pretty fast. And so this one is the speed when it's in fast mode. So you see that's not doing anything now because it's in slow mode. But now it's doing something. Um, okay, again, we're looking at the first section here this mod button, uh, this is the modulation of filter and gain. So let's just hear what it's like with all of the modulation quite low. everything yes it is okay great so that is clave grand spin it's a pretty cool sounding effect i like it all right thanks for listening folks as always listen please if you enjoyed this video give it a like give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't I'm doing a lot of videos and i do try to explain things thoroughly so i hope you enjoy it thank you everybody